Like them niggas is high Welcome back to the channel guys um, Today I got an install for um, For my side uh, For my side uh, Panel It's something that um, that, I, that I can make myself Cause I was looking online trying to find an alternate uh, Product for You know to, to actually cover it But it was like $200 or whatever And I'm just like I'm not, I'm not paying $200 So What I actually have Is if you if, if you look at the bottom of um, all the Broncos, you see this like pinch piece here, and I don't really like it, like how it shows like that. And like I said, you know they do make a a piece for it. It's like a two piece for the side or whatever, and it's um it's about one hundred eighty nine dollars, almost two hundred dollars or whatever plus shipping and handling. So I, I wasn't paying it. So what I did was I actually went to, uh, you know, Home Depot. I got some stuff. Let me see if I can uh, show it for you. So what I actually end up getting is um, this mold piece. It's actually plastic. It's a thick plastic or whatever that they sell at Home Depot. This runs about, um, about five bucks. That's the, um, the SKU number or barcode or whatever you want to call it. So, it's it's just like a thick ABS plastic. That's pretty much all it is. You know what I'm saying? They just um, sell it. It's the side moldings. If you ever go to any Home Depot, you'll go to the molding section, pass all the wood all the way down at the end. They have a plastic section or whatever because obviously you want to either run plastic or like a metal piece or something like that because water will get at the bottom and you don't want that to, uh, you know, to get on the wood and mold and all that stuff. So, this right here works great. It's pretty thick. Um, so I think it is or whatever. So, but it's crazy because this is actually the proper measurement for this. So I actually put it on. Let me see if I can do that. I haven't cut it yet. So it will actually go on like this. And it's going to cover this entire section right there so you see how with my side step or whatever you know it touches the board right there if you actually look under the bottom it's actually pretty much even so it's actually a perfect piece to actually go on it now the only issue that i'm going to have is i have to uh do the measurements for the holes so i could actually do it i actually have bolts uh, that I purchased or whatever to actually go inside. This piece isn't is it, it isn't that thick. It's called I think it's called a pinch, like a pinch area or something like that. For like you know if you have to jack up the vehicle and all this stuff. So this is pretty sturdy. So I haven't cut it. I bought two pieces because obviously I'm going to need more than one for for this length. So go ahead. I'm gonna go cut this out. Um, do my holes and all that stuff, you know, let you guys see it. So, got my uh, my tape measure, you know, put it up there so I can get actual measurements or whatever. And it comes out to, uh, where I'm at, comes out to six feet exactly. Sorry about the light or whatever, but it comes out to six feet, actually six feet. So, that's perfect. Well, a little bit past six feet. But I'll do six feet. Yeah. So it's pretty good. And the reason why I'm doing actually six feet is because let me see. This actually this actually goes to the fender line. So six feet will actually be perfect. All that dirt under the but whatever. So six feet will be perfect. I'll go ahead and Cut it so I can start making my holes. So I have it um, measured out or whatever to uh, two six feet. Well, a little bit up past it, but that's fine. So perfect. One thing y'all need is you know a little uh, saw, whatever that I have. Go ahead and cut that right off. So 
So I got the holes uh, drilled out. So on this, um, you do have to remove those two front bolts that's right there. These are 10 mils. So you gotta go ahead and take those out. And then you slide on just like this. So it slide on just like that. So you got the hose, it's not all the way on. So I gotta do my thing to it after, after I do my test fit. So there they go. So you got the hose. They all lined up well. And this little piece, uh, shoot. That piece gotta like fold back and then go on. So just like that. So obviously I'm not gonna leave it white. So. So I gotta, uh, gotta do my little thing to it, but that that is the test fit form, and very simple, man. Very simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my thing to it, and uh, I'll be back. So here it is. After I wrapped it, let me step back. So. Pretty good pieces. So, there they go. Now they're ready for install. So there it is. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it, it didn't cost me that much, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to actually uh, get the material. I uh, got it from uh, Home Depot, but you can get it from Lowe's, whatever the case may be. Um, that's about my screws and stuff like that. Maybe $15, you know what I'm saying? With tax, $20. So made a whole running board, you know what I'm saying? Because that's pretty much what it is, is a running board. Which I don't understand why they don't come on here. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of kind of stupid, but you know what I'm saying? Whatever. $200, you know what I'm saying? I wrapped it, you know what I'm saying? As you can see in the forest, uh carbon fiber. Um, drilled the holes out and everything, put it on. It looks pretty, looks pretty good. You know what I'm saying? It actually makes it look better, especially when you're standing back and you actually look, uh, take a look at it. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You guys have a blessed day.